The designation of the Church of St. Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe, as the diocesan shrine to Our Lady of Guadalupe, Queen of the Americas, provides an important distinction between it and all of the other churches dedicated to the Blessed Mother throughout the Diocese of Greensburg. This represents an initial passion by Father Foley and his devotion to the Mother of God under the title of Our Lady of Guadalupe. The mosaic above and around the side altar depicts scenes from the story of Our Lady's appearance to St. Juan Diego in 1531 and was designed by Duncan Niles Terry and actualized by Ferrari and Bucci of Rome. The side altar continues with the granite theme of the sanctuary and contains the relics of the bones of St. Perpetuus, 5th century Bishop of Tours, and of St. Reparata, Virgin and Martyr of Caesarea. On the left wall when facing the shrine is a series of nine etched windows that illustrate the history of the Catholic Church in this area of Pennsylvania from the time of the Native Americans through the colonial period to the founding of the church at Sugar Creek and finally the construction of the first and the present church. As part of the Today's Challenge Tomorrow's Hope campaign, the shrine area was also reworked to accommodate the choir area and the organ. The organ was designed by a noted musicologist of local origin, Father, now Archbishop, Rembert Weekland of St. Vincent Arch Abbey. It was made by M.P. Muller of Hagerstown, Maryland, and contained 609 pipes that can play 774 different notes. A set of internal glass doors leads from the high street entrance of the church directly into the choir area and the shrine. The theme of Marian symbols from the main entrance of the church is continued here. The doors depict a heart being pierced by a sword, a reflection of the prophecy of Simeon to Mary during the presentation of Christ in the temple. He had prophesied that her heart would be pierced by a sword. And we know that Mary's heart was spiritually pierced by a sword out of sorrow during the passion and death of her son. In addition to this, this represents an opening of the heart of Mary to all of those who would believe in the redemption that was won by her son Jesus. And this theme is continued in the messages of Our Lady of Guadalupe.